Have you ever asked yourself, how do I make Windows look like macOS? If you did, you are at the right place, because in this quick how-to tutorial, I will show you exactly that. But before we start, let's hear a quick message from today's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by keysfan.com, which is an online platform for digital products. If you have any issues with your purchase, Keysfan also has this covered with their 24-7 customer service team. And after you made the purchase, you will receive your code to redeem in your account within minutes by email. At Keysfan, they also have their hot sale promo for which I'll provide link in video description down below. But this is not all, you can use code FV62 for 62% off for bundle products. So there are many ways that we can imitate macOS look on Windows. Most preferably, there are some of the options using Raymeter widgets. For example, we could use for Doc, for example, we could use Rocket Doc or a Nexus Doc. And then for the top bar that macOS uses, let's say, Drop Top 4 widget. However, I must admit that I do prefer the program called My Doc Finder. So this program is currently available on Steam for three euros and 30 cents. And based on the reviews, which are mostly positive, this program is absolutely got tier customization software for making your windows look like Mac OS. However, the developer did have some of the oldest releases of this program available completely for free on GitHub. But recently, they did decide to remove all of the releases here. However, there is a workaround. How do you get the free release or the older version of this program completely for free? So if we go to the GitHub and releases tab right here, and it's important to copy this link right here. And how this hack actually works is that we go to the Wayback Machine uh, website, and then we will just paste this link that we copied from here to this input bar right here. So paste it right here and click browse history. And there we should select, let's say one save the date for this website, for example, January 18th. And this should redirect us to way back, let's say three months ago. And here we have suddenly all of the releases or the previous re releases of this program and are completely available for free. There are some of the links which aren't currently working. For example, this is the first one and the second one and the third one as well. However, this fourth one did actually work, which is the date from 4th of September. And if we click assets right here and mydocfinder.zip, this should get us this program. So once the zip file is downloaded, then you will go ahead to the download directory of the file and you will extract this zip file. And uh, meanwhile, it's extracting you will go to this PC, your local disk C or wherever your Windows installation is. And then you will go to, uh, to create a brand new folder and I will call it Tweaks. And then simply go back to your downloads folder and then you will cut this MyDoc Finder extracted folder to the Tweaks folder. So this PC, local disk C, Tweaks and paste it right here and then we are going to go inside this folder and here we have some of the exe files so i do recommend that we launch this doc under slash 64 file and this should start this program and here we have the pop-up windows protected your pc and don't get afraid by this because this isn't any kind of malware so click run anyway right here and yeah, this should start this program. And as you can see, doc successfully showed as well as the top bar. And we can also click run anyway right here. So this program is currently in Chinese and we need to change that. So I think with that we need to click right here, the second option from the bottom to the top. So click that and this should open up the settings. And then we scroll down a bit and here we should select the English, English language. So click here, English. 
and some interfaces need to be restarted to change. So click OK right here. Then uh, click on X file right here. And then we can go to the task manager and then go to the more details and we can just end the task right here. And we are going to launch it once again. So go back to the my doc folder, click doc slash uh, or underscore 64. And uh, right now this program should be in English. So we can here select show taskbar or hide taskbar and this should hide the taskbar as well. And it looks a whole lot cleaner. And on the top here you have about this PC. So this would, for example, redirect us to the about section of this computer. And here at the top you have the clock. We can use some of the widgets. For example, we can change the sound and so on. I won't go through all of the settings for this program because I made a separate video for that. So if you are interested, make sure that you check my other video. However, I will show you how do you change the size of the dock. So for example, you will go here to the general, I believe, and here you have the options icon default size. So you can make this smaller or bigger. And uh, this is pretty much it. And you can also change the dock screen position. So one thing that we need to change as well is to change the wallpaper. And this is with the program called Win Dynamic Desktop. So if I go to the Google and type in Win Dynamic Desktop and click here to the GitHub, I do prefer the GitHub version. However, you can also get it on the Microsoft Store. And then you will go same as the my doc uh, finder program to the releases tab and here you will select your exe file so click here x64 setup.exe file and this should start the download of the program so click here to open the file click here install for old users click yes click ok i accept the agreement click next we can select here star win dynamic desktop with windows and click install right here and then finish click here okay so for example we can select here the location to determine sunrise and sunset times and i will select here let's say london and click okay and we can select yes right here and uh, here we have some of the wallpapers for example we can select this one it's nice looking click apply and this will start with the download of the wallpaper and this is basically dynamic wallpaper which will react depending on the time of the day so right now the wallpaper looks like that however i can also show you the wallpaper that i used on my thumbnail image and this is this one so uh, it's on deviant art and you can also get it completely for free um, and it's from around 100. I think also this wallpaper looks absolutely beautiful. One thing that also bothers me is the current cursor that we use. So this is the default Windows cursor. And right now I'll change it to the Mac OS one. So if we type on the Google uh, Mac OS cursor Windows. And here we have the this GitHub page for the macOS cursor and once again we go to the releases and we can get this source code for the file then we go to the Dolans folder once again um, extract this specific zip for the macOS cursor and then select your preferred version of the cursor I will click here Sierra and newer I will click with no shadow normal size and here install a file right click on it show more options click install click open click yes on the admin prompt and here under the pointers you will select macOS cursor that we just installed click apply click yes click ok and as you can see cursor successfully changed so the current desktop looks like that I'm quite happy with it it looks absolutely like macOS if you want to we can also hide this recycle bin icon so right click on the desktop go to the view uncheck show desktop icons and we are good to go so i think this is pretty much it and i hope that you enjoyed this video so if you successfully change the look of your windows to look like mac os make sure that you smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel and join the tech enthusiast community have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next video peace out